So what I'm about to show you here is um, something that I had in my head for 25 plus years. And I want to share it with you now, especially for this video. And I have to thank Freddy Lopez for this. Um, this is just amazing. And I'm just going to open it and then we'll talk. What you're seeing is the box art for Dungeon Crusade. I'm going to move stuff around so you can get a really good glimpse of this. We're going to mess up the dungeon. And I've been dying to show you guys this. I even created kind of like a, it's not going to be final. I want to share, tell you, this is not final. This is something I wanted to show though. Get a good, there you go. There's not a glare on this. There, how's that? That should be good. Guys, this is what was in my head for this box art. And me and Freddie have worked on this for about, I think, what, a month and a half, maybe? A good month, definitely. It was probably a month and a half, because this took him a long time to create. And I had to do my thing of sketching this out for what I envisioned. So before we go, this is, I guess, the grand finale, um, I'd like to talk with you about this box art. So first of all, right here, Wait, let me say something too. This thing you're seeing right here is something I built to show you kind of envision of what the box will look like. However, there's going to be um, a gold border like right here and then like a black cloudy creepy kind of thing and this will be set in. And I don't have a picture of it now, but it's going to actually look very retro. So you just picture like a, like a twisted gold kind of border around the box art and then this like creepy black texture in the back. It's going to look very awesome, but even right now this looks totally killer. But um, what I, to me, this is Dungeon Crusade. This is what a dungeon crawl game should be. If you notice back here, you can see all this. I, and I was, Freddy didn't kill me. I was so descriptive about this freaking box art. Very descriptive. And of course, Freddy um, injected his own creativity in this, which I absolutely love when he does. So notice here that one thing I wanted to set was there's two, well, this foyer area is something I was really passionate about and wanted and was very descriptive about. I wanted two doors, but one door knocked down and then the moon, because I wanted to let the viewer know this is this, this dungeon crusade is happening in the dead of the night. You know, this is very late at night. They broke the, the doors down and just total chaos. To me, that's what a dungeon crawl is. Um, Another thing here is the um, just the architecture that Fre Freddie did. He just he actually put more stuff in, which was awesome. But there's um, ivy around the door, um, you know, this torch here, this like emblem of a skull here, and um, we have our priest hero Jora, and she's like casting this holy spell over it. You know, I said make it look like there's this magical holy power going everywhere. Um, Enwin made it on the box cover. And she's kneeled down, taking a shot, probably at this skeleton warrior. You know me and skeleton warriors. Taking a shot at the skeleton warrior. And then I asked so for two angel statues, but one of them kind of destroyed. And then this one, fully intact. I want to get too close because I know that that doesn't, it doesn't look that good. But um, over here, I asked to have a, um, like, <coughs> excuse me, a dead adventurer hung on the wall. Like, he's been there for just you know, years and years. Of course, Albus. I wanted Albus rushing into the heat of battle, like, you know, very aggressive, you know, maybe to help out in some way. And then our knight hero, Sir Brennus, I wanted him there with his shield and deflecting this creature. And Freddy, thank you for getting the evil circle with the candles. You're just amazing, Freddy, you really are. Um, so this, this wraith creature has been summoned out of the floor and is casting this bolt of lightning at the night. Um, and then um, way, way in the back, you can see this. See back here? This was a tip of the hat to one of my favorite PC games from that golden era that I talked about. Um, there's a skeleton warrior breaking through the door. And that's um, my tip of the hat to the um, Eye of the Beholder. I really love that dungeon crawl game. And Freddy got it in there. Looking at the top here, 
Notice there's like in the back, um, this is very dark too, so you know the game company, it's gonna look a lot better. Um, in the back there's these, I asked for like recessed spaces and I wanted skulls in there, you know, placed inside there. And then Freddie thought of it and I thought it was brilliant. He created a dragon's head strung up by the ceiling. That, Fred, that's just, that was just an awesome touch. Um, and then down here, we have a, you know, I wanted two skeleton warriors because those are my favorite fantasy creatures. I wanted them like, you know, like they were just coming into this to join in. But then Freddie said, and kind of like uh, tip of the hat to Norman Rockwell, he wanted to have one looking back. It's like, that's awesome. And then um, finally, um, just right here, and if you ever saw, and I sent this to Freddie, I wanted to have the Barbarian facing off against a level four Death Knight. And what inspired me to do this was, if you saw Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring at the very end when Aragorn is, Aragorn is fighting Lurtz, and there's that battle. That's exactly, and I sent him a little clip from that, I wanted to have like that good versus evil thing. And of course, the Dungeon Crusade logo proudly displayed. So guys, this is the box art, but remember there's gonna be, you know, this is, the picture is gonna be pulled in just a little, like a gold, um, like kind of like twisted, kind of like medieval type kind of border I'm picturing. Very muted gold, not bright. Um, and then going around this, and then this like black texture cloudy thing, that's what we're gonna roll with. But for right now, I mean, I actually took this out to Jackson and Zachary, and they were like, that looks like, that looks like a game. What do you think? How do you like that Dungeon Crusade? So guys, I hope you like this this box art. And I guess let's say is I always wanted I wanted to give you guys something really awesome to look at. You know, like if someone comes over and looks at your board game collection and they see this like, what in the world is going on in this thing? And that's Dungeon Crusade. It's heroes busting in and on this crusade to to vanquish the evil within. I hope you like it. Um, so, guys, there, whew, I destroyed this half of our dungeon. I'm sorry. So, guys, I, I love you guys. Thank you. This was a long video, but I hope that you got a lot of information out of it. I hope that this makes you more excited for Dungeon Crusade. And um, I'm immediately getting back to work on the loot cards. Still got to get the loot cards done. There's 193 of them. And um, I really hope you like this. It was nice spending some time with you. And I'm gonna, everything you saw is going to be, this is, well, you're seeing it now, but this is a Kickstarter update, the video, this Dungeon Crusade Christmas Extravaganza video program presented in Groovis Vision, copyright 1982. This will be put out as an update, and then this week I'm gonna do like an update with, you know, you're gonna see the box art, the, the cover, and then I'll do another Kickstarter update. That's gonna be massive, so don't expect it right away, because this was, um, this was a lot right here to put together, but you know, you know, couple days from now, um, we'll get it going for you. All right, guys, so if you have any questions at all, I feel bad we trashed the dungeon. And I'm sorry, I wanted to take the Blackwood Prowler and do like some um, combat with him um, in that, but we'll, we'll get to it though. This was a lot of information to throw at you. And again, thank you to all the artists. I mean, you're seeing this game, really, you said final stuff here today. And you guys did an awesome job and just thank you for your friendship and it's just been an honor to work on this game for everyone and, and bring something to market that's fresh and innovative and new. Okay, guys, so take it easy. Um, I, it was, any questions, just ask. And have a really good evening as we take a look at Avalon. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.